Hello, oh, 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 oh. All the good girls go to hell. Clean about it so. As that little reason, once the water starts to. Now I know this is like the 100th millionth time you've seen me do my makeup but there's nothing I have to say about that. I just feel good doing it and it's just something to do. Today I'm going to be answering your assumptions. We're just seeing what you guys think about me. Okay, so I have my assumptions right here. Randomly choose them rather than like start from the bottom. You seem like a nice person that passes the vibe check 24-7. Yes, I do. I always pass the vibe check. Of course I do. I think that's down to opinion. Like some people really don't like me. I have a few haters. I guess what I say to you haters, I'm succeeding and you're not part of that. So I think I do pass the vibe check because I focus, I've been focusing more on myself, right? Listen, everyone, we're going to make my eyebrows not harsh. In a few minutes' time, they will be, so we're going to try and not do that. Du, 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 du. You just got to be a nice human, isn't it? Like, you only have one life. I don't understand why you've got to be a mean person. I'm pretty sure quite a lot of people ask this, but you have a lot of money. And I think you're talking about, like, me. So a lot of people in, like, my assumptions video before just say, like, you're rich. I can't be rich at 16. I mean... I'm 17. Unless like I have a business or I have like a apprenticeship or whatever. And also rich is like, um, what's the word when it's different to everyone? It's like to, to me, if I owned 20 grand, I would feel rich because I'm still living at home, blah, blah, blah. But then to someone who like maybe is a bit older, has finished uni, has a job, they had like a hundred grand then they'd think they're rich. And then some people think like a million, like it's all just perspective. Um, but the answer to that question is no, I don't have a lot of money. Surprisingly, uh, like YouTube really depends on, it's not actually about subscriber count, it's about view count. And if you look back on my videos, I haven't been getting a lot of views. So that means that I'm not really making a lot of like revenue from it. YouTube, I get money from YouTube, but like not as much as I think a lot of people think I do. I mean, I don't really know how much people think I get, but I don't actually get like that much. For example, if someone sends me clothes and pays me to promote them, I normally get more money from that than a month's work of YouTube. Do you know what I mean? You're chill and no one has a problem with you. Um, I don't have a problem with anyone, but I think a few people have a problem with me. Um, I don't really know. I kind of just get scared, like I want to be liked by everyone. But sadly that can't happen. But yeah, I don't have a problem with anyone because I just I just see it how it is. Like if you wanna be a crazy bitch, be a crazy bitch, but it doesn't bother me. It's really hot, like I'm actually sweating right now. Do you know what? This one is bloody crazy. You're not a virgin. So if I say yes, that means that I'm not, and if I say no, then I am. Right. Either way, I think I got asked this question probably about 50 times. Every other assumption on here is literally about virginity my opinion on it is that everyone's ready at their own time and you'll know when you are so i guess when and if i find the right man then the v card will be swiped <laughs> but yeah i also i think it's quite a um virginity is something that's made up like if you're talking scientifically i think there's science behind it i don't really know but it's basically like a made up analogy that people have i don't know what i'm talking about is my answer to whatever i'm trying to say i'm absolutely sweating i can't i can't also i don't know why i'm wearing this because i wanted to wear my orange top well it's my sister's but let me just change. Okay, I changed. This is what I wanted to wear for this video. So now that I look like a highlighter and it's just when you're ready. I mean it like my big age of 17, I obviously have a body count of 25. I'm joking, guys, joking. I still will never answer that question just because I'll leave it up to you guys' imagination. You have a boyfriend. Again, this one's the one that came up very regularly. Due to the amount of people on this channel, I don't really feel the need to tell everyone about a relationship status until I'm like engaged <laughs> because I don't want to cause... I basically don't want it to go sideways and then it just be a bit sad for everyone that was watching. Like for example, Charlie and Chase, like, and obviously I don't have 50 50 million followers and I'm not like Charlie. But I can't imagine how hard it is to have a relationship so public. You know what? I've managed to keep them really low key. Rolling on a river. Mia, I like this question. I'm not talking about myself. You appear more confident on camera than in reality. That is 110% true. On camera, I can literally say anything that's on my mind and then change my mind later and cut it out. Whereas in real life, I really think about what I'm trying to say and then I end up saying nothing because I'm a scared little 
girl. I don't know, like, some people were saying to me, do you not find talking to a camera so hard? And I'm like, no. Like, I find it, I find it the easiest thing in the world. I don't know if it's, like, a skill, talking to a camera. I'm so comfortable doing this. I would do this every day. I keep saying like. I love it when people try to, like, protect my feelings. You're fine with having no friends, not that you don't, and kind of want to be alone forever. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to be alone forever. Obviously, I want people. But, like, I'm not one of them people where I need to be in, like, a fat group of friends all the time. I have the people that I'm friends with. They know who they are. Like, it's just... You don't need everyone in the world to be happy. You just need the people that make you happy. You've had so many exes, lol. <laughs> Surprisingly not. It depends on what you count as a relationship. A, I I don't think I've ever said this. I always just say I've never had a boyfriend, but, you know. Um, I had one back in year eight or nine that lasted probably two months. I don't even speak to him anymore. It was kind of weird. It wasn't kind of weird. I think it was just I think we got into it too quickly stuff like that I wasn't ready blah 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 and then I spoke to someone like sometime like this time last year and then just like yeah That's it really current situation <laughs> Lost for words lost for words one UK youtuber you would get with um, that isn't an assumption, but not necessarily I would get with, but I think the Penya UK YouTuber is Kami. Kate Elizabeth is so lucky. I want to be friends with them, you know? Like, can, can I be friends with you, please? You've stolen a guy off your friend. I ain't that kind of dirty person. No, I wouldn't really want sloppy seconds. So, I'm gonna just go wet my beauty blender. You're beautiful. This is kind of different, I guess. So you're rich and privileged, not a bad thing. I would not say in any shape or form I am rich, but I have definitely had some like privileges in my life. And I don't mean that as in like, I am privileged. I just, I'm really grateful for the things that my parents have given me. And like, I think basically they've worked with what they've got really smartly. I managed to go on ski holidays and summer holidays. I can like have nice things in my room. I have nice Christmas and birthdays days like there i'm really lucky and grateful for them things i'm not rich where like i'm living in a five bedroom house do you know what i mean <laughs> you act like a slag at school to impress the boys of course that is my forte that's what i'm known for no i would never like i think respect for myself is so important something i've been saying recently is if you can't respect yourself then how do you expect anyone else to respect you i'm working on self-confidence self self-respect self self like myself i think word slag works in two ways boys and girls and some boys need to work on their self-respect like honestly if you're expecting anyone to ever respect you you need to calm down a bit get with the program funny i've never actually heard that wording before this person says you've been in many situationships no i haven't a situationship i'm guessing is where you're not like together but you basically should be together um i've only had one of them you don't want children when you're older like i said earlier my parents have given me such a blessed life and i want to give that to like another generation i want to give my kids the best life they can possibly live i want them to be happy i want them to like just be just experience earth man to like the greatest thing travel be people make friends having a kid is literally like one of my dreams in life having a family having a house being able to just do stuff with something you've created on your own based on like love and loyalty and hard work like that just makes me so happy and i can't wait to whoever i start a family with for us to just live at your dance school you get all the boys okay First of all, 75% of them are gay. And third of all, I don't know, I guess it's not really like that in our year. No one is really in relationships with each other. Because the way my school is split up is there's loads of different, like we have dance, musical theatre, music, theatre, art, media, digital design. We have like production art, so they work, work on the sets. Oh, cap, they work with the com community and do like performing and stuff. So there's just like, we're all split up and there's about 50 or 75 people in each strand so my one only has 50 people in it i think it's like 48 none of us are in like relationships with each other i'm pretty sure when we go back in september though the girls in the lower year are very pretty so i can imagine a lot of the straight boys will be going to them <laughs> oh and obviously there's gonna be new people you've jeweled no i haven't actually it's quite surprising because literally every single one of my friends has jeweled or has a jewel or when i'm out with them has a jewel or smokes or whatever but no never me i've never been interested in it i don't understand the hype in vaping obviously i'm guessing it makes you feel some type of way if people are doing it but no never interested me i don't think i will ever do it so yeah 
I'm a good role model. You get jealous easily. Yeah. So that is because I care. And also because I overthink majorly. I didn't even realise how much I overthought until I was scrolling through TikTok and everyone was talking about like being overthinkers. And um, like the amount of information I can get, like I'm mad. If I need to find something out about someone, I will find it. And I will find all seven accounts on all seven different social medias. But then from doing that, I create up situations in my head and stress myself out. But like the situations were never there in the first place. Wait, what was my thing? I was saying jealousy, yeah. Uh, I get jealous very easily. But like I said, it comes from the heart. <laughs> Why am I looking like my paws are seven miles big? When you meet someone, you're sometimes shy to tell them about your channel in case they judge. It's never like on my mind to tell them. Uh, like my channel is part of me, but I feel not because I'm going to get judged. I don't tell people because I don't want to make friends being on the basis that I have a YouTube channel. So like I know 90k is not a lot but some people are real hype chasers and will only talk to you because they know that you have like f a following so i don't really tell people just because i want them to like me before they know that i i have a following i'm not saying i'm like famous because i'm not so i don't really tell people straight away like i went to a dance school and i started 2018 september and they didn't know that i had a channel until this year that was only because my dance teacher was like you know like one of the younger kids said to me does mia go to this dance school and like he was like why and they were like because she's a famous youtuber like so that's how they all found out uh, otherwise they just would have never known so yeah i just don't tell people because i don't want people to like know me as me are the youtuber but i mean people know me as that anyway i'm guessing you're falling for the person you're friends with benefits with who said i have friends with benefits so this is a good one you bought your car with your own money yes i did so the money came from i'm very lucky like i said like i love how my parents have parented me <laughs> every year they would put in a bit of money away in a bank account for me but basically they were saving up for uni or for a car i don't know if i'm gonna go uni or not but yeah so i spent the money that they saved on my own car it was really cheap got it for like such a cheap price it was crazy so yeah that's how i pay for it out of my money but it's not really my money your heart is isn't actually in dance and you want to sing ahem if I... I don't even know the next lyric no i cannot sing to save my life i am a dancer in my heart and in my body and soul you have a baby yes in fact i gave birth two months ago on february the 22nd i've been meaning to tell you guys but i just thought it was never the right time if i had a baby you guys would know imagine 17 year old pregnant i get so many views <laughs> i'm joking you would have known though because i would have loved it i'm not i'm not ready for a baby at all in any shape or form money form life form at all but if i did get pregnant in some kind of magical way uh maybe from holding hands with someone for too long i would probably keep it because i don't know i don't think i could kill something like what if i could never get pregnant again then i would have just like made a life-changing decision you're prego hee hee do i look fat do am i fat is that is that what it is I know I'm not fat guys so don't get onto me. Cameron, you're a really bad driver. I found that quite rude actually. You are in my you were in my boot and I managed to keep you safe. I'll sh I'll just input some videos of like me driving my friends at school. Ready? Can I press? <laughs> Get away from my car! Oh, it's yeah. really hot in here. Yeah, we're just opening the car. <sighs> that was a fart. I'm really, I apologise. I just couldn't keep it in much longer. Yeah, I'm an amazing driver. I passed in two months, first time, both of my tests, and I know manual. So for Americans, that's like stick. I learned stick. I don't know. You had a massive glow up after primary school. I'm still waiting on my glow up. You love gossip. Do you know what? I do, in fact, love gossip. The thing is, is I always find out what's happening like i know the whole year's like tea majority of the time like i always just know what's up and i just love like knowing everything i don't gossip about other people as in i just know what i know and i keep it to myself listening to the gossip but i would never like feel the need to tell the whole world about it i just like knowing things why did i put that on when i wanted to do eyeliner anyway this isn't a makeup video so i'm not even gonna finish my makeup i'm gonna finish the video here thank you so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Good damn bye. Also, someone asked if Rocky died. Rocky is not dead. Rocky is very much alive. Rocky is my tortoise, if you didn't know. R-O-C-K-I-E. Not Y. Okay, bye. I'm done now.